What up, everybody? Um, here to do a video game review, a special video game review. And if I don't do this review, I'll have somebody get on me about it because I know they'd want me to do this video game review. And that video game I want to review is one that just recently came out this past week. It's one of the most anticipated video game releases of the year. And it's the sequel to the one game that I think obviously was one of the best games that they've made. And the person that wants me to do this review, or is hoping I would do this review, has this game. And I'm talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That's right. Right here, Modern Warfare number 2. If you can uh, see that a little bit better. There it is. It's for the, I got this one for the Xbox 360. Rented this um, just yesterday, or I guess Saturday, if you will. And uh, it is a pretty good game. It definitely lives up to the hype that it was given. As a matter of fact, if I can work it over here to the achievements, you will see the achievements that not I, I'm letting you know right now, not I, but my friend that wants me, that's probably hoping I do this, that's hoping I was doing this, would do this review, has accomplished. And uh, hold on for a second. I move you over here to show you what I'm talking about. My friend, if you will, my, I guess you could say the family member, spent about a whole, spent about most of last night, sat last Saturday night, or yesterday night, which was Saturday night, and most of today working on this game. And as you can see, these are all the achievements that he accomplished. He didn't achieve them all, because there's 50 of them, but he's only unlocked 20. Now, you probably can see which ones he's unlocked, and for, th for those of you that have played this game already, you probably know what these are. And I'm letting you see what they are just in case you haven't seen them. But these are the ones that he's unlocked so far. That's 20 of them. And he's done this within, I guess you could say, a 24-hour period. Now, he says he beat the game. As you can see there, it says... Completed the single player campaign on any difficulty. I wonder what. And I, you, now I know you might be thinking, well, what kind of difficulty? Well, you have to ask him yourself. And just to let you know, I'll let you see who this friend is. If I can get to it. Go here to friends. And let's go down real quickly. There he is. This is the friend. That's the friend right there. I don't know if you can see the name real well. Let me turn off the light. Or some light real quickly so you can try to see it better. Well, let me go turn off the other light. It's the only temporary, folks. So you can see it better. But that's, uh, that's him. I don't know if you can read his name. But that's uh, the person right there. He's a uh, ex fatal crossfire, is what he calls himself. And you can probably see it a little better there. Yeah, ex fatal crossfire. But yeah, according to according to what he told me uh, today, 
he finished the game. He beat the game, if you will. As you saw on there, beat it at any difficulty. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of you will be questioning what was the dif difficulty that X Fatal Crossfire beat the game at. I don't know and I don't ask, but I played it a little bit more multiplayer. Uh, the only reason I ever rent these kind of games, or if I feel like getting it and buying it, um, the truth is, I would do it because it's a challenge to do single player, but it's more fun to do multiplayer. That's right. The multiplayer is real fun because you can go online. I, I like to do the online experience. And even if you're not, even if you're just starting out, or you're not, or you haven't really played, you know, these kind of games that much, you know, the more you play the online, the more challenging, the more fun it is, because that way you can learn just from other people probably killing you, and then that way when you like see the replay from the kill cam, it lets you kind of get the idea like, oh, okay, this is how it does, this is how it works. And it kind of worked out for me today because when I was playing it a little bit, I got three kills in a row online uh, through the free-for-all. So, the free-for-all deathmatch, that is. And the graphics, I have to say, are pretty good. I mean, overall, it's a very good game. Like I said, it lives up to its hype. Um, I can say this. It's a very addicting game, if you will. It's the kind of game that well, let's just put it this way. It keeps you up all night and probably makes you late for the next day. For whatever you got planned the next day. That's what it does. But overall, it's a good game. It's definitely worth the buy, and if you can't buy it, it's definitely worth the rent. And, you know, I give it a 10 out of 10. And I know a lot of people might say it's a little high and that's deserving of it. And some might say it's a little low, it should be higher. But I give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely, like I say, worth the game. Worth the, worth the money to buy it if you can. Or worth the money to rent it if you can. And really, that's all I have to say about it. So, in closing, I say if you haven't played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I suggest you go out and you do it. It is worth it. And if you don't believe me, as X Fatal Crossfire when he ever gets back on the Xbox Live, and he'll tell you himself. All right, and that's all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed my review, and if you got any tips or anything to let me know about, let me know. And by the way, my game tag is BW Roses. If you ever want to play me on this, while well, I got it, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. God bless.